Hey everybody, what this project's gonna be is I'm replacing the electric fridge with a propane electric fridge. So I got a couple things going on, I'm gonna move the camera. You can see the floor here. I was lazy when I put the floor in. So I've got to build that up and level it out. A uh, propane refrigerator can't be off even 2% on the, they have to be perfectly level to work. So another thing, I'm gonna drill a hole in the wall, one for the propane, another one for a vent and then another one for a vent and i'll show you why so <clears throat> a little disappointed i got a unique and they say they're ventless but then you get the installation instructions and say hey it's a good idea to have a vent in the bottom and the top you're like hmm but i already planned for that because i do not like anything vented in a uh, tiny home man it just that's just insane so what i bought I'm gonna move the camera over here. I bought a Dometic vent kit for their refrigerators. And the way it works is this part will be on the wall. And what I'm gonna do is install this right over that burner. And that way I can vent it on the outside. You get two of these with the kit. So the other hose is gonna go right here. I'm just gonna have it kind of like that. And that's going to bring fresh air into that. And with fresh air and being vented to the outside, they, it makes these much, much more efficient. So uh, that's what you get. You get the brush with it too. You get a cover for the uh, controls. It said it came with a heat shield. I ain't found it. They want you to heat shield one side. I'm not doing that. With uh, me venting it the way I'm gonna have it vented, I won't need all that. So this one's a little bit smaller, not much. So I bought some wood here and I'm gonna fill in the gap. Regardless of me going to this, I knew this would probably be in my plans one day, but I made my kitchen for a full size. That way if I ever have to sell or whatever, somebody can put what they want in there and not be uh, painted into a corner. This size is plenty for two people. And eventually this is gonna be an addition and the freezer is gonna go right here. So that's what we got and I'm gonna start going. So here we are, this is what I got done so far. So we move the camera. There's the Lou on board. I've really gone heavy with the screws. That way I can just push it in here. I've marked where the fridge is gonna be. There's gonna be a four inch gap here. I'll come up with shelves to the top of this countertop and it's gonna be for storage. And then I'll come up sideways against the fridge and it's gonna be for canned storage. Here I've marked the top of the fridge. I'll drill the hole here. The burner is gonna be right here so that's enough rise to go outside. I've marked where the burner's at so I can go directly to the burner. And then right here's the propane line. And what I'm doing, I'm going to go with a metal plate that they provided and it's going to mount there and that way I've got some air gap in that wall so the heat doesn't tear everything up and burn the place down. So that's where I'm at. Okay, here's the next step. Got a hole drill both sides. Hole drill both sides. Show you the trick I do. I put tape on the end of this that way when I'm pushing it through the wall and all this sawdust. I don't want any foreign material in those hoses. So I'm gonna change something. I thought I was gonna run a hose here and go to the burner. I'm not. Um, I keep thinking more and more, man, I'm gonna be fighting that burner hose at the top, this propane line, and then fight another hose here. I don't have the patience for that. So I'm gonna leave that open. There'll be a bug guard and a vent on the other side and there'll be fresh air there, that'll work. Uh, you can see I got extra hose at the bottom. I hit a lot of studs. What I'm not going to do, and I'm going to violate the code. Code says I'm supposed to have a cutoff here to turn the propane off and on. With me shoving this back in here and me not being able to get my eyes on it, I'm afraid I'm going to kink the line. And uh, I'll show you what it looks like code. There's supposed to be a drip loop on it too. I didn't do that. That's for trash. But here... You can see I've got a propane cutoff. There's the valve for it. This is okay for me. I can get my hand on it and I can see that that's not kinked. These are easy to kink and I don't want any risk of anything being pinched and open up and leak. 
it's a fire hazard because this is going to have a constant open flame on it i'm going to use common sense code and that means whatever i can to reduce the risk so i'll have this hose here going to the burner leave this open propane and this will hook right up to the back i'm going to leave a california q in it that way i can push it back open it up push it back and it'll be like an accordion you need to plan that you're going to get back in this thing man and like i said too this thing's 110 volt i've got a 110 volt plug there that i'll be using too solar's running great i'll keep it on solar when it's not propane i'll have propane backup all right we'll take a look at the infrastructure now so that gives me a gap that pipe can go through the wall not touch any insulation none of the studs I taped it up with heat tape cut it now it's going to go right on that burner there's a line from my burner boom right there i got enough rise that'd be perfect it'll go right sorry moving the camera that'll go right there i gotta stick my hand back there and get it going there's the uh, intake there's the propane leveled it out go outside and see what it did i doubled down on the bug guard they gave me i built it up it was big enough to let ladybugs in and we have a horrible ladybug problem here so here's the uh exhaust there's the intake and i'll cock that up later there's the propane so i'll have a hundred pound tank on it with a regulator on it and it should go at least three months so uh, i'm going to start working and putting the fridge in about to get it all in there i want to show you what the back of it looks like so it may be a little bit hard for me to do this but you can see that i've got the pipe going outside and hitting that burner now and then down there is fresh air in the propane that's awful dark i hope the camera can pick it up it's hitting that burner perfect this is going to just i'm more than happy with it and i did find the shield if you buy one of these they're attached not to in the box like the instruction said but it is attached to the ice box so uh anyway you can see the shield there now and that'll tell me how far i can go back to i like that i want to show you how i'm leveling it because i got the patience of a gnat i'm using this torpedo level and then this four foot level one way one way and then i've got this board under it and they only give you adjustable legs for the front, which I totally agree with. If you try to do a refrigerator that's just on four legs, you're going to blow your brains out. So what I do is I jam the board underneath there, play with the leg a little bit, take the board out, check the level. And this is real good. You don't pinch your fingers. It's very quick. So uh, this is works. I'm almost done. Then I'm going to start on the shelf. So far, so good. So here I've got a gap. And I'm going to go with the canning shelf. So let's go outside and I'll show you how it turned out. Part of the mess, it's a construction zone. Here it is. Let's go sideways like you saw it in there. But it'll just go in. And this side that you see here will be on the, on the countertop side. And I'll have this for storage for cleaning supplies. So far, so good. Let me show you how the cannon rack started but let me before i show you the cannon rack i just tried to make this thing go off and uh, use the propane and i'll i wish i could have kept the camera going i'll be honest it's pretty disheartened uh, it would not light i couldn't get it light it worked on electric you know with covid everybody's giving bad service now and using it for an excuse so i went online found their phone number it was a 901 area ago. My phone wouldn't let me do it because it's Canadian. Got dug a little deeper, found a 1-800 number, which is actually an 877 number. I called them and uh, I was like, I, I had to leave a voicemail. And I'm like, crap, here we go with the bad service. So I called them, left a message, and they called me right back. And I'm pretty excited because I did everything right. You know, I, I know how to install gas gas lines on how to do electric couldn't get it to work couldn't get it to work got a voltmeter check my battery my battery's good guy that called me says hey check your battery you probably have it in backwards 
It's funny because this is an international company. It's got the pictures for the battery. I put it like the picture shows. Well, the picture's kind of backwards. Flip the battery around, boom, it lit right off. So this thing's working awesome, man. I'm so glad I got it. I know it's a lot of money, but it was nice that a North American company called me. Yeah, a little bit of a French Canadian accent. I can live with that. Not everybody can be graced with a Southern accent. Things working awesome, man. I can, I'm so glad I'll be getting ready. Let me turn the camera. This is going to be going back to the Valley on grid power. Give it a family member. There's the cannon rack that I installed. Fills that gap in nice. It's screwed in. If I ever go with a bigger refrigerator, pull it right out, put another one in. Doug, you got light. So let me show you how this works. Talk while I'm trying to move. So there's the meter. And I hope the camera can pick it up. See that needle in the green? That's tied to the thermocouple. It's pretty, pretty simple. So, uh... It's nice that they wired it into the thermocouple instead of you just taking a guess. This is, I'm going to get my finger here again. That igniter will make a clicking sound. If it does not, the battery's in backwards. So see the picture gram and it shows the battery going in kind of? No. Flip it. It'll glide off. So the way it works, let me realign the camera. Push that button in. First of all, have the gas on. Push that button in. Click. Keep holding that button till it goes green. Count to five Mississippi. Once it stays green, that's it. That's the end of the story. This is going to wrap the video up. I cannot say... Got to stand up here. I cannot say enough good things. I am excited to get off a battery bank. My, let me show you the battery bank. It's, I hope the camera picks it up. It's full. Both battery banks, both systems are full. And I still don't care. Now I can travel. Now I don't have to worry. I can go three months. I'm going to set a calendar outside and write a little, with a grease pencil on that LP tank when I probably should change it out. I'm more than excited about this. Now I can use this battery bank for the other stuff. And by not using that battery bank, it's going to last a long time. My goal now, instead of seven years, I'm going to try to get over a decade out of it. I've got a boat with some AGM map batteries in it. They're almost 20 years old by hardly using them, keeping a trickle charge on them. I'm set, man. I'm more than happy. Solar is not the end all. It's just another accessory and another tool in the toolbox. So uh, I'm going to start cleaning my tools up. And uh, I appreciate you watching. Turn the camera around again. It's a, uh, it's a big deal that you're watching the channel, and I'll be honest, man, uh, I've gotten a lot of grief, some nasty comments, some I had to delete because of the cussing. Just because it's not solar doesn't mean it doesn't work. So now I'm going to be even more self-sufficient out here. And uh, this is going to work out really good, and uh, the freezers are installed is going to be next, and I can finally have ice cream. Ha -ha. So another, another thing with the freezer before I wrap it up, the garden not everything comes in all at once and you can't can onesie twosie so now i'll be able to freeze i'm gonna harvest a deer it'll be frozen i've got a freezer that's on a battery bank now it's gonna be my backup so uh this worked and i'm very excited and the customer service is fantastic so i uh, appreciate you watching and uh take care and god bless